one, it's Friday already, can you believe it? And Friday afternoon and your maths meeting, well done, you made it this far. So this is our last maths meeting where we're following the subject that we've been doing all week. So some of the questions are a little bit harder today, so make sure you've really got your thinking caps on. Are you ready? So we're going to start again with our doubles. Now we're starting nice and easy here. And we haven't got ladybirds or dice today. We've got butterflies. And because butterflies have got two wings, we can use them to show our doubles. Remember that doubles are two groups of something. Two add two, three add three, and four add four. You shouldn't need any help from me. You can count the dots on the butterfly's wings if you need to. Or hopefully, these are facts that you're starting to learn. Write them down, pause the video, and let's see how you get on. Okay, like I say, these are quite simple doubles. These are the ones that sit within 10. So none of your answers should have been bigger than 10. And I'm hoping that you're starting to learn these facts like you've learned your number bonds. So let's see how you got on. Two add two is four. So we've got two and two, we've got four. Three add three is six. And four add four is eight. Really, really good. Are you ready for a challenge for your doubles then? Here we go. Seven add seven. 8 add 8 and 9 add 9. Please do have a go. If you count them for your 7 add 7, you shouldn't need to count them all again for 8 add 8 because there's a pattern to your doubles. Remember on the last page, we went 2, 4, 6, 8. Once you've worked out one of them, 7 add 7, you should be able to follow the pattern and work out the others. Pause the video and let's see how you get on. Shall we check your answers? So 7 add 7 is 14. Once you've worked that out, you only need to add two more to get you 8 add 8 is 16. And then two more again for 9 add 9 is 18. Really, really well done if you've got all those answers right. If you got them right by checking, uh, counting each dot on the butterfly, that's okay. But there's a much quicker strategy for you. And that's noticing that each of them adds two every time. So there's a difference of two between 14 and 16. And then we just add another two from 16 to 18. Okay, let's count backwards then from all the way from 100 all the way down to 10. Are you ready to count with me? Let's go. So we've got 100. 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10. Oh, did I not tell you I was going to go a little bit more quickly today? Well done if you were able to keep up with me. Have a good look at them. Which ones are missing? Oh, lots missing today. We're skipping one each time. Which ones are missing? Can you write them down on your whiteboard? 100, what comes next? 80, what comes next? 60, what comes in between 60 and 40, what comes in between 6 and 4, and then what becomes between 40 and 20, and then your last one in the pattern. Write them down. How did you get on? Shall we check? So it was all the odd ones that we were missing, actually. Well, the numbers and the multiples of 10 aren't odd, but the numbers like 9 and 7 and 5 and 3 and 1 are odd. So it's those ones which were all missing this time. Okay, let's move on to clocks then. Now, it's been o'clock all week. I shouldn't have to give you too much help on these ones. You've seen that black cock two days in a row now, so you should really recognise that time. Pause the video and write down the two other times you can see that on the white clock in the middle and on the black clock. Hopefully, you were able to see that your hour hand is pointing to the seven on the white clock. And that black clock that we've looked at a few times now where it looks like the um, hour hand is missing um, and it's actually just in the same place as the minute hand is 12 o'clock. Well done, everybody. OK, counting in our twos, they're all missing. Can you write down your six answers, please, for one times two, two times two, three times two, four times two, five times two and six times two? Off you go. Write them down and let's see how you get on. Well done if you got all of these right. That's super impressive. Remember, they're all even numbers, so they've all got a pair. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. This is a pattern that you should have had lots of times this week and should be getting quite confident with. Okay, our final math meeting slide of the week. Aren't you doing well? Rather than it being adding or subtracting, we're doing both of them today. So you have to read the question really carefully and see whether it's adding numbers get bigger or taking away and the numbers get smaller. 
let's do the first one together. Five add three. So remember that your number line is there to help you. Start at the first number and make sure you're moving in the right direction. We're adding, our number's getting bigger. So I'm gonna go in this direction for five, add three. Five, one, two, and three. Five, add three is eight. Pause the video and have a go at all the other questions for me. I'd love everybody to have a go at the challenge questions on this last day as well. How did you get on year one? Let's have a look. Well, five add three is eight, it got bigger. Remember for the second question, it's a subtraction question. So it's five take away three, five take away one, two, three, leaves us with just one, two. Well done. Six add three, six, seven, eight, nine. Six add three is nine, but six take away three is three. And we can use our doubles to help us with that one, can't we? Again, our doubles can help us with nine add nine. We've had that question today already. And well done if you remember that nine add nine is 18. 12 add six is 18 as well. And the way I would think about that is because 12's got the two and then we've got the six. Six add two is eight. So 12 add two is 18. And we can use our number bonds to help us with the second question. 20 take away seven. Well, if it was 10 take away seven, the answer would be three. So 20 take away seven is 13. If you got all those questions right, absolutely brilliantly done year one, very impressive. And we're all done, can you believe it? Have a fantastic weekend, you deserve it for working so hard. Take care everybody, see you on Monday.